this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Last time, we made it back to Kaldisla, somehow. But before heading out again, let's, uh, let's buy some more equipment here that I didn't last time. Most notably, the Falcon Knives. Those are obscenely good for the remainder of the game because of their speed boosting there, and... Unlike the first game, there is no piece of headgear that boosts your agility. So with triple wield, this is the only way that you can do that. So I definitely want to have a bunch of those. I'm going to be making a lot of use of them, especially for Tiz there. But now that we've gotten all the shopping done before we head out, let's play a little chump crab. Now, at this point, the remaining songs that I want to unlock require at least 100,000 CP. So, what I'm doing here is I upgraded the glue immediately. Wait until the upper timer gets down to 9 seconds. Then I upgraded the stuffing only 4 times. The reason is because most of the songs that I can unlock don't require like several hundred thousand cp yet there are songs that do but not yet so i want to unlock some of the cheaper songs first so since i've gotten everything maxed out now anyway i figured hey why not uh, just cut back a little bit on the stuffing there to reduce the value per chomp there and that'll make it a lot easier to unlock more songs but yeah, now that we're in Chapter 6, we've unlocked... Uh, what is it? Yeah, there's a couple more songs that we could unlock here. Yeah, you see how the timer on the stuffing was one second behind the upper timer there? That way... Uh, that way, yeah, I get as many cycles out of that as I can. Okay, level 4 there. 6 seconds. Snack time! Let's see what we can get out of all these. See that one? No, it's not going to have uh, an amount that would be useful to me. I suppose I could have boosted the stuffing a little more during the first tray there. Max that out. There we go. I really hope I was on time with upgrading that glue. Oh, we might even... Uh, yeah, unlock a song with that one. Yeah, there we go. Braves theme. Well, that was easy. Okay, so now... Yeah, let's uh, upgrade those again. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of time now. Although I don't think we're gonna get anything out of... Oh, or we can! There we go. Wow, that was uh, faster than I expected to do that we should be able to get one more cycle in there because of the timing yep barely got that in there even though the glue says it's 10 seconds per cycle it's i think it's actually a little less than that but we'll see all right so yeah the only thing i need to really keep an eye on is the stuffing now Let's see, we are... Hmm, that's going to be close with the timer there. I... Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to get out of this. That time was uh, way too close there. Okay, just level four. That ought to be good enough. No matter what I do, really, I'm not going to be able to unlock a song while I'm building up the snack time gauge there. So it's like, why even bother really putting a ton of money into the stuffing when the amount that I get out of it isn't going to make a difference anyway? The sale value of the chomps has no impact on the snack time gauge there at all. It's just the number of chomps you got and their rarity. That's it. And yeah, I need to upgrade the glue again there. 
But yeah, nothing we're gonna get out of that there. Okay, so yeah, these two are gonna run out soon. Wait until we get down to six seconds and then we can start upgrading them again so I can get the maximum number of cycles out of it. Although I, yeah, I probably shouldn't have uh, done it quite that way. I probably should have upgraded the snack time and then done the scissors and the brush there, but we can just do this now. That's fine. Just a, only a little bit of time wasted there. Okay, with that one, yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything out of that. Yeah, we'll just get that one going there, go through a few more cycles, and whatever I get out of it is what I get. I hope I wasn't late on that one. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Oh, that might be another song. No, it isn't. Okay, uh, yeah, th there is a song that I could unlock with that. At about that CP, but I guess we haven't uh, done that yet. I think it was either Praline's or Barbarossa's song that would have been unlocked at that amount. But for some reason, we still can't unlock that. Oh, well. Let's just get one more cycle out of this, and that'll be more than good enough. I've already bought all the permanent upgrades that I can get. But, uh, yeah, okay, that's good enough. Well, at least I know I can't unlock more songs now. Or there might be one more song that I could unlock, but yeah. For the most part, I'm probably going to have to wait for the post game to do more with that. But that's okay. All right, so now that we've uh, yeah gotten all of the new equipment, let's start putting it to use. Let's go back to the No Earth setup that I was using before because where I'm going next, there are a lot of enemies that are strong against Earth. Elemental damage. Okay, and then... Okay, so we got... Yeah, the singing going for you. I want to get back up to in the red there. That'll maximize his magic damage there. With Idea, I'm going to need to temporarily make her into a Kaiser. I just want to get her up to level 7, and that's it. It will not take very long to get that finished up. But otherwise, let's see. Why don't we go with Catmancy for now? There you go. And then, okay, so... The problem is that with Kaiser, though, I'm not really going to be able to do a whole lot with it right now as far as, like, its own abilities or stats or whatever. So I'm just going to make Adia into a pure battle item user... For now and then we can do some cool stuff with that okay then let's see okay so attack item amp whisker sense and let's see uh barrage to help out with the battle items okay and then let's see magnolia she's probably going to be doing the same thing as usual yep and then tis there are some items that i would like to steal coming up here so let's just stick with this for now Except I want to actually give him Attack Item Imp. But I don't want to give him Barrage. Because the only instance where I would really care to use battle items with him. I don't need it in order to make the kill the way that I want. Okay, so we get all that. And then with you. Might not be a bad idea to give him Rods of Ice. But I'm just going to go with the Wonder Rods for now. Yeah, they're quite a bit more powerful there. But there are some enemies, or at least one enemy, that's uh, weak to water. So I might want to switch in Rods of Ice. And now we got the new circlets there, so we can take advantage of that. Let's see, the Magus's robe also boosts intelligence, just like the Amplifier does. So finally got a replacement for that, and we've got amulets ready to go. Okay, then for Idea, let's see. I want to actually give her the Bloody Shield. And the thing is with the Bloody Shield is that it crushes your physical evasion there. So there's no point in equipping, like, uh, what was it, the Kunai Knife? 
that would boost your evasion a bit? No, nah, no, nah, it wouldn't do anything. <laughs> so you might as well just go with whatever is the strongest thing you've got and probably never really use it. Okay, and then let's see. I definitely want her on the Lambent Hat and the Ninja Garb there. I'm not even going to bother with like anything that boosts physical damage or anything that I might otherwise care about. Okay, so we got those for you. Let's see, with Magnolia, yeah, I also want her on the Wonder Rods there. Oh yeah, the Wonder Rods also have an effect that I, I don't think I've ever used. But yeah, I guess it just casts a mag black magic spell just like, uh, what was it? Was that Final Fantasy V that did that? Something or other. But in any case, okay, so we got, yeah, Circlet. I'm going to stick with the Luminous Rub because we're going to be using, well, Light Elemental Damage. And let's get the Venture Badge going, too. Okay, then with Tiz, let's get you on Quadruple Falcon Knives and see how that works for you. And just hold on to the Thief Gloves. And I think we'll be good. So, let's head on out into the world. And let's see. Oh, you know, I should actually show something here. Let's see. Let's go. Let's see. Equip. Dun or not Dungeon Master. Divining Rod. Because now that Kaldisla is on the world map, we've got a couple more treasures that we can find. So, let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so we've got one by Caldisla Lake. So, let's see. This one would be in the southeast corner somewhere. There we go. Okay, let's get back out. So, all the enemies here are those kobolds that we met before. But, yeah, for some reason, we were able to access them even way back in Chapter 3. Okay, so up here... Where are you? There we go. Okay, yeah, now we got that going. And we could check out the Ntano Villa. Or we could do a side quest. We've got a new one. Something going on over there at Gothladio. So let's go check it out. And that is all the overworld treasures that you can get in the game. Hooray! So yeah, now let's get back on to Precog. And that ought to be good. I don't think it matters what time of day it's going to be. But, uh, well, something's going on over there ever since we... Yeah, found Caldissa again for some reason. Okay, so let's see. Let's go... Where are you? Oh, yeah, Eternia. And... Gathaladio... Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with the plot at the moment. But, we'll see. But I guess, uh, well, most of the important NPCs, I guess, were over here last time we checked. I mean, maybe Agnes knows something that's going on. I don't know. Or there's Lotus, he would know, of all people. But, we'll see. Oh, we got, well, Brave here, at least. Oh, yeah, I, I'm working on it. I thought we did, pretty much. But I'll see what we can do. What's going on? Oh, really? Oh. Well, yeah. But uh, we're kind of busy saving the world and all that. Priorities. So you have come, my daughter. Yeah, I saw the blue check mark. Brave Lee, Grand Marshal of the Eternian Forces and holder of the Templar Asterisk. Oh yeah, we didn't get that one yet. The ruling hand of the Duchy and, closer to home, Idia's stern but loving father. It was a funny way of showing it. After a long and bloody war, 
peace between the duchy and the crystal orthodoxy is finally within reach. Well, yeah, we pretty much killed everyone. What wisdom do you suppose he wishes to impart to you now? No, uh... No. Hmm. You come to me as Idia Lee, Knight's Captain of the Eternian Ducal Guard. Sure, we'll go with that. Father, what are you doing here? We left him here. Answer me this. Are you prepared to succeed me? Are you ready to rule a nation? Isn't she already doing that? Father? In olden times, it was said that a true ruler must possess one of two qualities. The strength to cut down any foe who would stand before him without doubt or hesitation. Well, that's what I've been doing for the whole game, pretty much. Or the resolve to defend the multitudes who would cling to him for protection without letting any come to harm. Well, you would be pretty good at that. And yet, in many ways, these two powers, these two innate abilities, are opposites of one another. Yeah, you don't seem to be very good on the offense there. So you're asking me if I had to choose one? We do? Just so. Now, I ask you once more. Are you truly prepared to take my place to rule a nation? Well, I've been doing pretty good so far. Do I have the will to rule? Yes, I do, Father. I mean, do we have a choice in the matter? Well said. Now, I would know what you believe. Which of these two qualities would you value most for you to rule? Well, I'm fast enough to kill anything before they can touch us. Would you choose the power to cut down your foes? If so, go to Everlast Tower and retrieve the Grand Marshal's sword. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we already fully looted the place. Or, would you value the power to protect your subjects? Then visit the Central Command Dungeon and retrieve the Grand Marshal's shield. Well, if we killed everyone who tried to cause harm to us, wouldn't that accomplish this too? The Grand Marshal's sword from Everlast Tower, or the Grand Marshal's shield from the Dungeons of Central Command. When you appear before me as a true ruler, and only then, I shall share with you all that is mine to share. What kind of things do you have to share? Yes, Father. Uh, I mean, understood, Grand Marshal, sir. Idia Lee, Knight's Captain of the Ducal Guard, will not let you down. Well, we've been doing pretty good so far. Well spoken, my daughter. Now go, and be strong. I shall await you in the Cave of Festus. Seek me out when you have found your answer. Oh, okay, yeah, we haven't been there yet. And if you tried, you wouldn't be able to get inside anyway. You can't even interact with it. But yeah, so this is why I hadn't gone to the Everlast Tower or Central Command yet since starting a new game plus because, yeah, we got the side now, quest. I would know what you believe. Which of these two qualities would you value most were you to rule? Oh, do we, uh... Would you choose the power to cut down your foes? If so... Oh, yeah, we already, uh, went through all that. Okay, never mind. But, uh, let's see. Oh, was this person here before? Oh, right, right. Something like that. Oh, okay. Well, we gotta go there one way or the other then, huh? Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to do it. And that's the way I'm gonna go. I would recommend going to Everlast Tower first. So, let's head on over there then. So, we're going to have to actually get both the sword and the shield. Even though the side quest seems to imply that you need to choose one or the other, but you gotta get both. If you only get one, and then you go to the Cave of Vestments and talk to Brave there, he won't respond to you at all. So, no, you have to actually get both in order to move along. But, uh, yeah, how's it going here? Oh, okay, I guess you don't have anything new to say. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I suppose he kind of did. 
and we'll never see him again. Well, I'm the only one that's left. Someone's got to save the world. But, uh, okay, but we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be heading to Everlast Tower instead. Seems kind of strange. Like, of all the asterisks from the first game to make an entire side quest and multiple dungeons to revolve around, they chose Templar. That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Yeah, it's... Not really a great job class in general, even in the first game. But, uh, oh, right, I, I don't need to do anything here. Uh, let's see, I do want to go over to, let's say, Gravemark Village. That'll get us close enough. And then we can see what else is going on. Okay, so up here, there it is. So, yeah, we got the cave just like we did before. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to, oh, you know, I don't think I've reactivated autosave. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, let's get that going, and then I don't have to save outside. So now, let's check out the rest of Everlast Tower. Because now that we're in Chapter 6 and we started the side quest, this door is open! Hooray! So now we can explore the rest of the place and get a lot of treasure while we're at it. There's also a blue chest and Mr. Owl that we can find around here. That we, I mean, we could have accessed it before, but they're not really that important. I mean, I'll be finding them. But I mean, I, there's no, no real reason to go here early for it. All right, and here we got a new enemy. Let's see, Daedalus. Or however you pronounce it. Well, let's see. Uh, so this guy's beast type, weak to earth. And they have an item that I would like to try and steal. So let's go examine. And then, well, let's at least mug once and then mimic it a couple times. That should be good enough to kill the guy. But yeah, this guy has a lot of HP. Yeah, I'm going to need that third mug. But there, we've got dwarven gloves that sell for five grand a pop. So that's pretty nice. So make sure you can steal some of them. Okay, so with the mailed dragon there, they can default and uh, hit, hit, or, uh, well, yeah, hit you really hard. And they've got a really high physical defense. So the way I'm going to deal with that is let's use magnifying glass and then three Pantheon's Wraths up this guy's ass, and it should be barely enough to get the job done. So I like to use the battle items here, because if they default, then battle items will bypass that. And there's not many ways of doing that. Okay, so now, well, this guy's weak to lightning... So, how about we go with some lightning spells and some stardust and pray this guy does not default or we'll be in trouble. Okay, good. They didn't. Maybe uh, you could take him by himself. Hey, there you go. I didn't realize you could do that kind of damage. I, I mean, I never li lost faith in you. All right, and here we got another new enemy, Gastric Worm. Let's see, this guy has over 20,000 HP. I might not be able to kill the guy with just Magnolia alone, but I'll see what I can do. So, let's see, this guy is an insect, weak to water, and yeah, otherwise... Oh, I think they're strong against Earth, or maybe they absorb it like their cousins. Okay, so I'm just thinking if I want to go magnifying glass. How about we do this? Let's just go with the one magnifying glass, and then I'll use Stardust, since I know I'm not going to fight another battle after this one anyway. Yeah, I don't think Magnolia could kill them with just three Stardust. But with four, I think we can get the job done. That ought to be good. 
And yeah, we just need a little more help. And I didn't want to end up sitting around for three rounds waiting for us to get another turn. But all right, we got Winter Storm. We're working on it. Okay, what else do we got around here? Eh, nothing too extraordinary there. Okay, so let's see. Well, I would like to heal up after that one. Yeah, uh, Idea got a little more max HP because she leveled up the Kaiser job class there. Just one more, and then we'll make her back into a ninja eventually. So let's see, no secret passages on this floor. Or at least not, like, through the windows, like before. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so over to the right... We've got a secret passage! And we've got a new enemy! What do we got here? Earth Lanterns! These guys got really high physical defense, and unlike every other variety of them, these guys are strong against Earth. I would imagine they probably absorb it, too. Okay, so I do need to examine them. And then I think I could kill them in two hits with tornadoes. I'm just thinking if I want to give a BP to someone else, probably Magnolia. Yeah, yeah, let's go with Magnolia. And then these guys are weak to wind. So let's go use that and that ought to be good. Generally, I prefer to hold Idea and Tiz back as long as possible in the event that we run into more of those mailed dragons. But yeah, these guys, they don't have very much HP, just a lot of physical defense that would be more difficult for others to overcome. Although Tiz could use Godspeed Strike on them. But uh, okay, so with these guys, hmm... Let's see, Adia could probably cut down the gastric worm to size a little bit. How about we do this? Let's go with spray, pretty much just because it's water elemental. I don't even care about piercing default. And then, okay, so if we do that, then I think Magnolia could kill them with two Stardust. What's our speed look like? Okay, how about we just have Magnolia use four Stardust and whatever I need is what I need. And that should be good. Yeah, just get one hit in there. Now well, that wasn't very good. But I think I can get them with three Stardust. And I think that would be okay. I will take it. Better to use Spray than another Stardust. Okay, so with this one, yeah, I think we can uh, have a Dia deal with that. Let's go get another BP over to Magnolia. Oh, yeah, and by the way, there are no Daedalus's, Daedali, whatever the plural is for Daedalus. But, uh, yeah, so uh, get BP over there, and then a few Pantheon's Rafts to deal with the male dragon. And that ought to be good. So yeah, I don't need to hold back Tiz for stealing on this floor. But I'm doing it anyway, just because he could also use a Pantheon's Wrath and then mimic it a bunch of times, which is what I'm going to need to do here. Because, yeah, we got another male with dragon there. Okay, so let's go one of those. And then mimic it. And I should be able to deal... I believe exactly 13,500 damage, which would be more than enough to take out a male dragon. I forget if it's on this floor or another one later on where you can run into two male dragons. But fortunately, we don't need to find out. Okay, so let's see. I could probably kill the male dragon with two Stardusts if I, if they don't default. If they do, we might be screwed. 
So how about we do this? Let's just go with two of them and see where I stand after that. Okay, they defaulted, so... Ow! Okay, let's try that one again. This guy... Let's see, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them. Even if I used four Stardust. So how about we do this? Let's just go with a White Wind and see what the guy does. I figured they would probably default with zero BP, but... Hmm, not today. Okay, so I would need... Three... Pantheon's Rest to kill the guy? How about we see how good we can do with a couple Godspeed strikes? And maybe some lightning spells up their ass while we're at it. Okay, Godspeed strike will probably do. Yeah, look at that damage with quadruple Falcon Knives. Just a little more for idea, and then we'll be good to go. Or er, for finishing off Kaiser. That is. But, uh, oh, are we? Oh, we're already healed up. Right. I mean, I knew that. Just a force of habit there. But, uh, okay, what do we got here? The giant axe. Although I'm not going to be using that right now. But eventually I'll probably use it for something. Okay, so, yeah, let's just keep on going up. All right. And after that battle... We learned the Noble Eagle for Idea, so we're done with Kaiser. Let's switch her over to uh, Ninja, if I can ever find it again. There you go. And that's all I really plan to do with the job class. So let's see, with Ninja, now I want to switch over to Shamanism. Because a lot of enemies are strong against Earth damage here. And then, yeah, we're going to need to... Uh, overhaul the setup here now i do want her to go with physical damage so let's see we got whisker sense and instead of barrage i'm gonna put pierce default to use to deal with those mailed dragons there so i'm not using shamanism for which one is it yeah condor for piercing default i actually want to use it for harpoon not to mention the Sidewinder for multi-targeting damage. And then, to take advantage of all that, let's switch over to the, the Raikiri to further boost my damage against the male dragons. And then put those new Mutsuno Kamis to use on her. And let's see, I definitely want to have the Power Brazers for her. That ought to be sufficient for my needs. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Another thing I could do, maybe, is equip her with the alarm earrings and get rid of precog on Tiz in favor of, like, I don't know, barrage or something. But I found that to not really be that extraordinary. But it was something I was thinking about doing before. Okay, so we get all that, and let's see what's on the next floor, this side of the place. Got lots of treasure to find around here. Not to mention, a tent event! Let's see, how are we looking here? Yeah, we're looking, well, we're looking pretty good, but we might as well do it now, because we're not going to be coming back this way, or anywhere close to it. So, let's check it out! You want us to take a survey? But what about our food? Do you want food? We have to do this before dinner. Otherwise, it won't mean anything. Why? Okay, but what kind of survey? Well, let me put it this way. You drinks tea, but not coffee. Oh, we have coffee? Tiz and Idia both like coffee, but Idia has a serious sweet tooth. And so it goes for other food and drink. Okay. What you're saying is we all have different tastes. But you already know all of that. What do you need a survey for? You two were arguing about food just the other day, weren't you? Oh. That's right. One of us is completely deluded and thinks steak should be served with ketchup. 
I'd have to uh, agree with you on this one. Well, duh, everyone knows that. No, they don't. It's a travesty. Ketchup is for burgers and fries. I wouldn't even go that far. Not in Chicago. We don't put ketchup on our hot dogs. Maybe Magnolia is onto something with this survey idea. We'll see. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> Are you getting your angry face ready in advance, Adia? <laughs> All right. Question one. What do you put on your eggs? Oh, this is easy. Well, how much do you need? Oh, I know. Hollandaise. It's got to be hollandaise sauce, right? Okay, sure. Would you listen to Mr. Hoity Toity? Everyone knows it's ketchup. On eggs? I don't think I've ever heard that before. I'm fine with just a dash of salt and pepper. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one, Tiz. Sometimes I can't tell if your tastes are refined or just plain boring. Why not both? Uh, no, no, he is absolutely right. Good point, sir. The answer is salt and pepper. And hollandaise. Um, moving along. <laughs> Next question. Fried oysters. What do you put on them? Aren't those, like, expensive? Well, seafood, tartar sauce. End of story. Oh. Um. You can't just lump all seafood together. The right answer is ketchup. Oh, well, I, I load, uh, what is it? I lump all seafood together. Not a big fan of it. And you, Tiz? Let me guess. Salt again? Oh, no. Soy sauce for oysters, definitely. Ah, oh, okay, well, whatever works for you. Soy sauce? Ugh, where'd that come from? The land of woo, like everything else in this game? That's how Anya's taught me to eat them way back when. I admit, I thought it was kind of weird at the time. You don't say. Uh, what's with that tone? Anyway, next question. Favorite style of ramen? What do you mean, style? Ooh, things just got serious. Okay, um, uh, skemen. Oh, no, 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 wait. Tonkotsu. Uh, tonkotsu shoyu. <sighs> I have no idea what any of that is, but okay. Not El Campa noodles? What about it? Huh. Uh, that counts as ramen? Well, uh, no, I'm sticking with tonkotsu shoyu. Okay. Well, I like miso, with butter on top, obviously. And a dash of vinegar too, right? Okay. Tis exactly. Which means you're also... What do you mean? Sorry, I'm a salt man. I prefer a clear broth to a creamy one. Oh, okay. What about you, Magnolia? Well, since I came to Luxendark, I've had a lot of ramen. And I mean a lot. Well, yeah, we've been going all over the world, trying to save it from itself. And I like them all. Whatever the type, you can't go wrong with ramen. Hey, no fair. I'm changing my answer then. D, all of the above. Oh, okay. Look, are we done? Because I am starved. I'll eat anything, as long as it's now. Oh, well, uh, we don't exactly have a microwave, do we? <gasps> hmm? Yeah, me too. I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. I have to eat something. I don't care what. <laughs> oh, fuck, the words I was waiting for. Oh, okay. What do you mean by that? Today's menu is Magnolia Special Boiled Meat and Spuds. Um, a la lune. <laughs> Gosh, that sounds impressive. But what's a laloon? <laughs> Lake and featureless. Um, okay. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, I can't hide it any longer. I'm so sorry. It's a complete disaster. Your survey? I would say so. You remember how we put all our herbs and spices in one basket? Well, I must have dropped it somewhere. I've been waiting for you to say you're so hungry you'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why have all the sneaky tricks? Ha <laughs> ha.
Eh, you doesn't seem very satisfied with that experience. <laughs> but, uh, alright, let's see if we can get that treasure down there next. Well, two male dragons. Well, let's see how we can, how well we can deal with those. Let's see. Okay, so let's go with Idea to start here. Or actually, no, I would probably want to have more BP for her, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Instead, let's have Tiz take these guys down. And he should barely have enough to get the job done. But now we don't need... Uh, Pantheon's Wrath from Idea. Whee! What, well, four of these guys? Okay, so with all of them, let's go one Tornado, and then one Stardust. That should be enough to kill all of them without going into negative BP. Yeah, there you go. I definitely didn't want Adia to get in the mix. Okay, so now, this time with Adia, let's go Harpoon! And then a couple Sidewinders. That ought to be more than enough to get the job done, whether they default or not. Oh! Or, did I use the right one? Yeah, I did. I, 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 I knew that. At first, I thought it said Pierce Default. I could have sworn it said that in the message on the top screen, but then the bottom screen said Pierce Defense, so yeah, I knew I was okay. <laughs> mm, too bad Tiz couldn't be around to steal some more. Yeah, we're probably not going to get a whole lot out of, uh, out of the Daedalus there. They never show up multiples at a time there i'm afraid okay so hmm i think three would be enough and i might pass along a bp if i thought it would be worthwhile but it probably won't be so yeah actually why don't we just go with four stardust although i think we only need three but passing along one more bp isn't going to let me get another battle so, might as well save the resources. Okay, so with the gastric worms, one thing I could do is equip two rods of ice, which I did in uh, the battle I did off-screen there. Now, as long as you is at zero BP within the red, he'll be able to kill them with four frost spells. But if he has one BP from, like, a Brave Attack or something. His BP won't get low enough to reap the benefits of it, and you won't be able to kill the Gastric Worm. So you want to watch out for that. But otherwise, I think we're doing well here. What else do we got? All right. And let's see. Yeah, let's go back a few floors now. To take another path. Yeah, this part is pretty isolated from the rest of the tower. So that's why I went up here first. Okay, so yeah, keep going. Okay, and then from here, let's go down the left path. Another way you could deal with those gastric worms is to give a Samadari to Idea to make her attack Water Elemental instead of using Spray, now that we've got her set up as a, as a ninja. Yeah, Kaiser by itself isn't, like, that extraordinary. It's better, ironically, as a uh, support skill character. But, uh, okay, so let's see. We need to get up to the third floor the room to the right is empty this time around mr owl is hiding somewhere else around here we'll find him eventually also uh, another way you could deal with those earth lanterns is giving an air knife to idea though you'd probably still want to use pierce or what is that harpoon in order to pierce their physical defense 
air knife alone won't do the job, and I'd rather not spend a turn using Warhead. Especially now that we've got weapons that can exploit, I think, any elemental weakness. It's just easier to uh, switch the weapons around than to use an action to make my attack whatever element I want. But alright, over here we get the Grand Marshal Sword, which isn't just a key item, you can actually equip it too. But alright, so that's we got what we came here for, but there's still some more stuff for us to do here. Why did he put it here, though? Oh, well, I didn't think he told you to save the world or anything, but we're gonna. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Hmm. No boss or anything? No, there actually is no boss. For this thing. Kind of strange, but okay. I think it's more powerful than the other ones that we have already. Um, well, maybe. He was the guy at the. Uh, was it End Chime, if I recall correctly? Not that there are many other prime ministers around. Um, yeah, maybe. Well, we got it. So, do we just take the one and move along? No, we gotta get both of the items, the sword and the shield. And they're both equipable, too. Hmm? Oh, yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Doesn't have much to work with. Just that one huge cannon. How many cannons do you need? What is it with JRPGs and these massive, unrealistically cannons? Well, good luck. Okay, so let's see. We got that. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, why don't we check it out if I can ever get over there? There we go. So let's see. Yeah, we got that. And, yeah, it's even more powerful than all those flame burges that I bought. So they're all going to be strong against dragon-type enemies, which will be really, really useful eventually. Spoiler alert, we're going to be fighting more dragons eventually. But for now, let's see. Okay, yeah, we, or I got you. Yeah, but you're on Catmancy. Okay, yeah, let's get the rest of the treasure around here now. I probably should have restocked on catnip before coming here, but I'll be okay. I'm not going to, like, run out, but it is getting a little light there. But, uh, all right, so we got all the treasures on this side, so let's see what we got on the other side of the dungeon that we've already been to before. Let's get out of here and go up the way we did before. Right up the middle of the place. Now that I think about it, I don't think we have an Earth Elemental weapon yet. There is one, eventually. We just don't have it yet. Not for quite a while, actually. But that's okay. All right, so what do we got going on up here? Okay, so nothing on this floor that I can reach from here, anyway. But there is a blue chest that we still need to pick up. All right, so to get to the chest in the lower right... We're going to need to go, yeah, up here. This will take us over there eventually. But first, let's pay a visit to Mr. Owl. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, so I do. Oh, yeah, we had that in the first game. Wasn't that like the original summon that we started with there? I forget. But, yeah, we're ready to go. As usual, first strike, even though we have precognition. But I suppose we kind of let have to let him get the initiative to do his thing. What the hell is Gerta Lulu? Some kind of a crab? Ow, quit it. 
Yeah, another nice thing about waiting until New Game Plus to get all the summons. Yeah, you can easily survive them. Oh, okay. I, I was going to ask you for another katana, but I guess we already got one there, huh? But I do want to heal up a bit there after that. Not too much, though. Not too bad. But all right, so now we got to get to the lower right staircase in order to get to the blue chest, and then we'll be done with this place at last. Hey, where'd the encounter rate go? Not here, apparently, but here we get the almighty Ripper Knife. Just like in the first game, it is strong against humanoid-type enemies, and also against beasts now in this game. So that's pretty nice. I could have gotten it earlier when I, before we fight all those asterisk bears. But it's not really that extraordinary as far as improving your damage. So I figured, eh, let's just get the one katana. That'll be more than I need. Oh yeah, and I equipped the air knife on Tiz there. While, uh, I was dealing with some of those Earth Lanterns. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business here. Let's get out of here. And I would very much like to heal up as well. So, yeah, before going over to the Central Command, let's go rest up. Because, uh, the path that leads all the way over there is, a bit, well, there's no spot for the airship. There, there's no way you could land on that path. You got to go through uh, Everlast Tower and then take the other exit in order to go, yeah, in order to get to that path. Well, I think I did it before in the regular new game to open up that door at Central Command. But there's also another locked door over there that we couldn't enter before. What lies beyond it? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is Ichi Bailey signing off. Have a good day!